Just a few days away from the election, polls show a lot of Ohioans still don't know what issue three is. Do you? Good evening. I'm Laura Emerson. Sean is on assignment tonight. Fox Toledo's Jennifer Steck joins us now live with a breakdown of issue three and what a yes or no decision could mean for the rest of the country. Well, lost in all the attention issue two has been getting the last couple months is issue three, the patient protection and affordable health care law. So what exactly does voting yes mean and what exactly does voting no mean? Whatever the outcome, the results will send a message. Issue three is about the individual mandate provision of the major health care overhaul legislation that was passed by Congress and signed by the president in March of 2010. Still confused? A no vote means you support the individual mandate, and a yes vote means you're opposed to the individual mandate. State issue three is Ohio's response to what is commonly known as Obamacare. It's a law that would require all Americans to purchase health insurance. Full of controversy, a number of states are putting the issue up to a vote. It just so happens the Supreme Court will also decide next week whether they will hear the case of whether or not the law is unconstitutional. While a yes or no vote might not actually change any laws, depending on the Supreme Court, the results will send a message to Washington. So many political pundits and journalists and academics are going to be looking specifically at Ohio and the outcome of both issue two and issue three to read the tea leaves, if you will. What does this say for 2012 and the prospects of President Obama and whoever the Republican nominee turned out to be? Well, Professor Melissa Miller is a political science professor from Bowling Green, and she says, so far the numbers show that the party lines are pretty distinct. Republicans saying yes to both two and three, Democrats saying no to both. Reporting tonight, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News.